There does seem to be a trend of people in customer service roles who are no longer able to perform basic customer service tasks. All interactions matter. Don't write off any customer regardless of how you feel or your circumstances. A poor interaction may shatter the reputation of your company, but a good interaction will water the seeds of growth. Call it fake it till you make it, but if you're in customer service, selling your department, your service, your product, whatever it is to customers, and you do it with passion, you will become passionate about it. As quickly as possible, break from the script. You shouldn't be dependent on your scripts to serve the customer. Set expectations. Don't make empty promises. Don't overreach for the sake of service. Set expectations up front. If you can't solve the issue, be honest with yourself and with the customer. Customers come first. It's our job to assist them, and part of doing that is to know that the customer is coming into the interaction possibly emotional, confused, upset, even embarrassed. Understanding that those emotions might come to you and how to react to them is an important step in empathy. Prioritizing customers appropriately is key to serving them all in the best possible way at the appropriate speed according to their issue, their needs, and our staffing and availability. Always be available. Even if you're not, you want to appear available. You are in touch with what your frontline is doing. You want to value people's time by being available in ways they can reach the you. The purpose of your business is not revenue. Revenue is a result of your purpose, not the reason you do what you do. Customer service is everyone's job. I don't care if you're a manager, doc worker, CEO, CIO, payroll clerk, CPA, mechanic. If you don't deal with your frontline customers, you still have customers. Customer service is everyone's job. So take these tips, take these rules, and apply them to your job.